Hello guys, welcome back. It is me, Rabbi Mantel, and I'm back with a little piece of information about Kavana, Derech Eretz, and Kiddush Hashem. Now, to start off this video, I wanted to thank my lovely Humash teacher and all my classmates for supporting me in the making of this video. Now, I want to speak about how you can have respect and to have Kiddush Hashem to your family, your friends, and especially your teachers. Now, when you think about it, what is Derech Eretz? Well, I can explain it for you. Derech Eretz is a way of respect, and the Torah actually teaches that without Derech Eretz, you can't, you can't learn. A teacher can't teach you. A teacher is not allowed. So it is important to remember that even in English classes and Hebrew classes, if you have a co-ed school with English and Hebrew, you should always have Derech Eretz, even if you're learning Torah or not. Because without Derech Eretz, you can't learn Torah. And it's just not respectful to your teachers or to yourself. Because you're not letting yourself grow. You're not letting yourself learn Torah. And you're not letting others grow with you. And not only is it important to have respect for Torah and Chumash and everything like that, it is important to have respect for your teachers, to listen when they speak, and also to have respect to your parents when they ask you to do something while it may be hard and while you may want to play a game, just want to watch one last second of a video, maybe just think about it. How would I like to be treated? Would I want to be ignored? So. If you think about it that way, maybe you should go and help your parents. Maybe you should go and put that extra second of dedication in. Fold your clothes when they're not folded. Put your put your clothes in the laundry. Take out of your take your clothes out of the laundry. Put them neatly in your dresser. It's always the little things. It's always the little things that help you later in life. Now think of it. If you, let's say, have children, would you like for them to act the same way that you did to your parents? Hopefully not. And also, if you ever become a teacher, would you ever want your students to act the way that you do? No. Just always think of it as you putting, you putting yourself in their shoes. Always think of it like that. Because you never know what they could be going through or what they could be dealing with. And really, you should always respect your teachers and your family. Now, how can I respect my brother or sister? I think that respect is a bit different with siblings. While they're more your friend rather than your parent, I think it's always nice to treat them with respect too. That means respect their boundaries, always be nice and kind to them, and always be caring and be empathetic. Also, not only that, we should also always be respectful to strangers, because you never know who they really could be. You know, you hear a lot of stories like this, but you never really truly, truly believe them. You never know the person you might have cut off in traffic, the person you may have rolled down your window and gotten angry at for a simple mistake, could really be your boss someday. Someone who really, really could help you but decides not to since your actions. You know what? Even if someone does something like that to you, you should never reflect it back. And I think to really wrap this up, you should always have Derech Eretz and to be kind to your teachers, your family, and your friends. Thank you, everyone, and I'll see you in the next video, hopefully next week.